Hi and welcome. We are going to get things moving in this class for Yoga for Constipation. Let's jump right into it. I want you to find a comfortable seated position. And just take a couple of big breaths. And I want you to send your breath way down to your stomach. Come all the way down. Send out to the sides of our rib cage. And then exhale, our breath is going to be so important throughout today's class to really help get things moving. Nice, big breath out, exhale, let you go. And even while trying to go to the bathroom, using your breath is super important as well. Making sure we're not gripping, bearing down, holding your breath. Nice work, one more time, nice big breath, send it all the way down. Exhale, let it go. Come to a gentle twist over to that right hand side. Breathe into it just like we were. Send that breath all the way down. And then we're going to sweep, come all the way in front, head over towards that left hand side and pull yourself. Come back up. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. Sweep over in front, come over towards that right hand side, pull yourself, come back up, nice gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go, sweep one more time, pull all the way in front, come back up. Nice gentle breath in here. Exhale, let it go. We'll bring those legs, come up in front, place your feet on the ground and you're gonna grab behind the backs of your knees, round everything out and just gently rock from side to side. Take one more breath, same thing, sending that breath down and then pull yourself, come back up. We're gonna bring those hands behind us, move your feet about hip distance apart. Gently drop those legs over towards the right hand side Breathe into it, send your breath down nice and low. Exhale, let it go. Good, take another gentle breath in here. Exhale, let it go, pull yourself, come back up, head over towards the other side, gentle breath in, push those knees down. Exhale, let it go. Now find your pace that works for you. Maybe you wanna speed it up, maybe you wanna slow it down. Just find what works best for you. Just trying to open up those hips. Stay lifted through your chest and your tailbone and just keep coming back to that breath. We're gonna get, get everything moving after this class. Good. Next time your legs fall to the left-hand side, you're gonna hold them there and then just gently pull yourself, come up, we're gonna fold forward and then lift, come up right hand to your shin, lift that arm up overhead. Hands come down towards the ground. Inhale, lift, pull up. Hands bring it back down towards the ground, nice work. Last one, come back up, bend over towards the side. Pull those legs, come back up, bring them over towards the right hand side. Same thing, we're gonna fold forward over those legs and then pull yourself, come back up. Bend over towards the left. Hands come down towards the ground. Inhale, lift, come back up. Last one, reach those hands, come down. Inhale, lift, come all the way back and up. Pull yourself, come back up. We're gonna come onto our knees, coming into tabletop position and just creating a little bit of movement here. Maybe your knees are a little wider. We're gonna sink the hips, come back into child's pose. Breathe into it, push those hands away. And then when you inhale, pull yourself, come up round through your back, tuck that tailbone underneath. And then we're just gonna keep pulling ourselves, come all the way through, lower down towards the ground. Inhale, pull yourself, lift up, cobra. And then repeat, so sink those hips, come back. Round everything out, lift, come up. Pull yourself forward, lower down towards the ground. One more time, just like that, lifting up. Press up and back, child's pose, sink those hips back, breathe into that lower abdomen area. 
Round everything, come up, keep pulling yourself forward, flatten out, lower down, and then gently pull yourself, lift up. Press those hips, come up and back into that child's pose again. We're gonna walk those hands over towards the right hand side. Reach through those left fingertips and we're gonna twist our body. So turn to peek under your left arm and then turn your chest back down towards the ground. Peek your chest, look up, breathe into it. Exhale back down. One more time, peek that chest, come back up and then drop it back down. Walk those hands over towards the left hand side. Reach through those fingertips, nice breath in. The same thing on this side. Turn to peek underneath and then drop it back down. Turn to peek, lift up. Rotate back down. One more time, peek to look up and then drop it back down. Walk those hands back in front. You're gonna curl your toes, lift those hips, come up into a down dog. Press those heels down towards the ground. Maybe you just kind of sway your hips from side to side. One more nice gentle breath in here. And we're gonna slowly walk our hands back towards our feet. Press into those feet, lift, come all the way up. Catch your left wrist and bend over towards the right hand side. Pull yourself, come back up. We're gonna bring our right knee towards our chest. Hug that leg, pull that knee in towards your chest. Place that foot back down. Lift up, grab hold of your right wrist, bend over towards the left hand side. Pull yourself, come back up. Bring that left knee in towards your chest. Pull that foot in. And then back down one more time each side. Grab your left wrist, bend over towards the side. Come back up. Knee towards your chest. Drop it back down, catch your right wrist, bend over towards the side. Lift, pull everything back up. Place both feet back down towards the ground and then you're gonna move your feet so they're mat disc maybe a little bit further apart and we're gonna sink our hips back. A couple of options. You can bring your hands down towards your inner thighs and push those hands behind you coming into a little bit of a twist, dropping one shoulder and then the other. If you wanna go a little deeper coming into Malasana, you can bring those hands in towards heart center, press those elbows out towards the side. Maybe you kind of rock from one side to the next, trying to open up your hips, the same thing, send that breath down nice and low. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. If you're in Malasana and wanna add a little bit of a twist, maybe that right hand to the ground or to your shin, left arm comes up. Drop it back down, switch to the other side. Nice work. We'll do one more on that left hand side or one more holding your breath wherever you're at. Press back into those feet, come all the way up. Sweep your arms, lift up, tap your fingers. Twist to that left hand side. Inhale, lift, come back up, twist to your right hand side. Lift those arms, come back up. We're gonna fold forward, hands come back down towards the ground. Walk those hands back out, coming into your down dog. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. You're gonna pull yourself, come forward. Bring your right knee in towards your chest and set yourself up for pigeon pose. So that right knee comes behind your right wrist. Square those hips off. Maybe kind of rock from one side to the next. To continue just to keep things moving. You can stay up on your hands. You can come down onto your forearms. And then my favorite, I love adding a twist with this one. Take that right arm, reach it up and then sweep that underneath. Right arm lifts up, back underneath. Nice work, let's do one more time on this side. Nice, lift those hips, come up and back. You can do child's pose or down dog and we'll just switch, bring that left knee in towards your chest. Set yourself up, left knee behind your left wrist. 
kind of wiggle, move around, maybe down on your forearms, enjoying here. Or if you wanted to add that twist, pressing into your right arm, left arm lifts up and back underneath. Lift that arm, come up, back underneath. Nice work, last one. Great. Left hand comes down towards the ground, press it back. We'll lower all the way down and let's just roll onto our backs. Coming all the way down onto your back. Let's just bring both knees in towards your chest, gently rocking from side to side. You can grab behind the backs of your knees, opening up those hips, gently rocking from side to side. And then another option, if you wanted to come into full happy baby, is grab onto the outsides of those feet and just gently rock. So our last pose, keep sending that breath down nice and low. Open up those hips. Nice work. One more breath in here. And just letting go whatever you're holding on to. Lengthen out through those legs. Let those arms float all the way up overhead. Stretch everything out. Nice, gentle breath. Exhale, arms come back down by your side. Take one last big breath out to the sides, down to that lower belly. Exhale, let it all go, open mouth, exhale. And then just slowly start to bring one leg in and then the other gently rolling onto your side. Come all the way up, find a comfortable seated position. Hopefully those twists and moves got everything going for you. Let's take one last cleansing breath in, lift those arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands down towards heart center, thanking your body for your practice today. I'd love to know below in the comments if you enjoyed this class and if you would like to see ones like this in the future. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. Keep up the good work. Until next time, namaste.